Hey guys, James Reeves, TFB TV here at TriggerCon 2023. Wanted to make sure I didn't say SHOT Show again like I did <laughs> earlier. I'm at Genesis with Cody and we are going to talk about, I, I was like, man, that's a really short barreled 308 AR that you've got on the wall, yeah. but I'm way off. What do we have? So what we have is our Gen 12. So we have the first PDW 12 gauge available for the market. 24 inches overall. This is a PDW style stock. It's a prototype that we have put together. So it's expand, extendable. Uh, it's a regular length of pole comparable to like a mil spec tube. Short recoil operated, so the barrel actually reciprocates. So there's no gas tuning. No shit. So that's why okay. a seven inch barrel is completely reliable. That's insane. Full auto. Why? I guess there's, there's no reason why, huh? It doesn't <laughs> have to be. Well, there's actually inspiration behind this. So Eugene Stoner had the AR-10. So this is an AR-10 lower mm -hmm. or DPMS. That's what the pattern we chose to go off of. So it's a true DPMS pattern lower, which makes it compatible with AR grips, safeties, triggers, all of the normal manual of arms that you'd experience, but now it's in a 12 gauge. What kind of magazines are we using? The same ones that are running on your Genesis 12? Yeah, so our Gen 12 is a proprietary magazine. So you're gonna have 10, 10 round magazines like this guy here and five round magazines. So this one here is our 10. So it sticks out, but you got 10, five, and this one actually illustrates our short recoil. Oh, there we go, got it. So yeah. on an 18 inch gun, the barrel protrudes past the handguard. On our shorter barrels, the barrel stops inside the handguard. And then the, the muzzle is affixed to the handguard. Now, Cody, back to the seven inch model. Don't bullshit me, how reliable is this? Okay, some people might say there is no reliable MagFed shotgun. And I say to them, you're holding it. Well, it's funny you say that because I normally would, that's the part where I'd smile and nod and be like, yeah, sure. And then I'd be thinking in the back of my mind, that's bullshit. But Taryn, uh, here you're sharing a booth with, uh, I have talked with him about this shot. Yes. I thought it was a gimmick. First time I, I was like, okay, cool. This Genesis shotgun, you guys made it for John Wick or whatever, that's neat. Um, it's a gimmick. And, and Taryn is like, no, dude, like this thing runs. It does. Yeah, so that's that's pretty impressive. Well, now, and, and it also runs with low brass ammo. I was just about to ask. So 1,200 feet per second, Winchester, Federal, your Walmart ammo, the gun was developed on it. How much do the magazines cost? 40 bucks. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's cheaper than like Saiga. Yeah, yeah, and you know, the, the issue with traditional mag-fed shotguns. They're built on an MK1919 chassis or a Vepper, and there's inherent issues with both those. The magazine wasn't properly designed, which is why we had to create our own. The gas system that is used in all those puts holes in the barrel. Manual of arms, same as an AR. If I can run an AR, I can run this. Yeah. Now, let me ask you, I know this is a prototype. When will I be able to get this? Well, our goal is to have this at SHOT Show, available for purchase. Not bad recoil at all, it's super pleasant to shoot. Now, I know you're gonna kill me for this one. How much? We'll wait till SHOT Show. <laughs> I knew it, I knew, that's okay. I'm just really glad that you're willing to talk about a prototype like this on camera. I saw it, it caught my eye, one of the coolest things I've seen at the show. Cody, you guys are always so welcoming to us, so thank you for being so open. Guys, stay tuned, we're bringing you more from TriggerCon 2023. Make sure you subscribe to TFD TV Showtime.